Hey guys, going back to Roblox. Today we are playing Beast Swarm Simulator once again, and in today's episode, we are going to be completing Sunbear's quest. Now, basically, he kind of arrived like, I guess about a day ago. Um, I kind of saw it earlier today while making a video, and I was like, uh, actually, Nabra, and decided to not complete his quest yet, because I wanted to do this today. Also, I may have spent a little bit of, uh, Robux, and now I actually have enough to buy both the Windy Bee First Edition and the Starch Treat Special. I know it might seem like, oh, I thought you were going to complete the Petal Quest to get Windy Bee. But then I realized that took a really long time. And I don't really want to do that just to get the Bee. Like, literally everyone's getting the Bee already. And I want to get the Petal Belt as well. So, I don't know what the final, like, Petal will be used on. Maybe, like, a free something really good. But yeah, I believe if I buy this pack right here, the Star Treat Special, since it gives me 100 tropical drinks, I will basically have enough to get um, the coconut canister. I will have to get some coconuts, like about 100, I think, uh, before doing that, because I chucked all my coconuts into a friggin' dispenser or whatever to craft it into tropical drinks. So that might take a little bit of grinding, but... I can get the Windy Bee right off the bat, but before I do that, let's just, you know, go talk to Sun Bear. He has a little jelly bean just kind of trapped in here. I kind of feel bad for it. So wait, what is what is Sun Bear's accent? What was it like a was a hey there, Bush or um Cletus? Well, that's right, I'm back. It's me, Sun Bear, the coolest bear. Back in my favorite podunk, Mountain Town. Now I'm just messing with you. This place is special. I don't have time to chit chat. I'm in, not here on vacation. I was just passing through and ran into a little trouble. Nothing I can't handle. But why get my hands dirty when I can pay some chump? I mean, pay some good folks like you to help me put you guys to work. Here's the deal. I'm supposed to be taking a bunch of bean bugs to Orlando. Bean bugs, you know, purple critters. I hop around and shoot jelly beans. Thing in the cage right behind me. Anyways, I won't bore you with the details. They've broken out. I need your help to clean up this mess. Complete 10 quests and I should be able to round them up and head out. Like I said, I'll pay you well. 250 tickets, we got a deal? Nice. You know, 250 tickets don't come easy. How about you make things entertaining for me while I'm stuck here waiting? Every year I stop by to see your world famous bees using crazy abilities. May as well uh, take him sights while I'm here. Yeah, that sounds good, okay? You want these tickets? You round up those bean bugs. And by round up, I mean collect the jelly bean tokens they shoot out from their mouths. Those jelly bean tokens give crazy pollen buffs. Your beekeepers are lucky I let those bugs loose here. How do you find them? Well, just wait around. I guess they'll hide most of the time, but they'll pop up every once in a while. While you're waiting, let me see those awesome ability tokens. First, I'll collect 10 tokens from Blaine Bugs and 25 ability tokens. Make it quick. I've got a deadline. I'm out here when the clock strikes zero, with or without those bugs. Alright, so, hopefully those bean bugs spawn eventually. Uh, we just need 25 ability tokens and some bean bug stuff. Uh, can we spot some around the map? No, alright, we're just gonna have to wait for them. What we can do right now, though, is get ourselves a Windy Bee. Ooh, that would be pretty cool. And if you didn't see the previous episode, I did get this cool, um... Uh, well, Petal Belt, or, not Petal Belt, what am I talking about? Petal Wand, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, if you want to go check it out, you can. Um, I think I'm uploading this video on, like, Sunday or something. Also, literally, friggin' that part of the quest is done already. Um, yeah, let's go buy ourselves a WinDB. We're also gonna be making it gifted, so, that, that's, that's pretty epic. Um, yeah. Oh jeez, man. Uh, I mm, uh, I hate on your robots, but the quests are really difficult. Mm. All right, so first of all, let's buy the Star Treat Special. All right, my balance remaining will be a fat nine hundred three two one. Oh, 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 that kind of hurt. Not gonna lie. Ow, ow. All right, when to be first edition? Three two one. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh. Okay, this is, this is for you guys, alright? Windy B, finally, and I have the little slot up here. I bought the high slot last episode, I think. Uh, I'm pretty sure. So, now we can finally hatch. Where is it? Okay, it's right here. Windy B egg. Alright, you can only have one Windy B at a time. Three, two, one, transform carpet to B. Yeah! Windy B, heck yeah, man. 
An unethereal bee as powerful as unpredictable as the weather. Nice, dude. Now, we're not just gonna keep it at there. We're gonna freaking make it gifted, alright? So, let's just tap this right here. Give Star Trek to Windy B. Oh, uh, jeez. 3, 2, 1. Oof. Ah, uh, there we go. Gifted Windy B. Very nice. Oh, my gosh. There we go, dude. Um. So, now what? Should we, should we spend a little bit of honey to level this guy up? Because I need, like, uh, 35, uh... Maybe I'll get, like, 10, or maybe, like, 10 billion, uh, honey spent on the- Oh, there's a bean bug! Alright, you know, screw, screw the trees. Look at the bean bugs right there. Heck yeah, man. Give him to me. Yoink, yoinks. A... Nice. So I don't think this question should be too difficult. Um, but yet again, it could ramp up a lot, but this is supposed to be for the newer players. So I don't think it should be that difficult for us. Alright, let's turn it in. Man, I can't get it over the bees from around here. Those abilities aren't something you see just anywhere. Yeah, I've been around in my RV, seen tons of bees. Bees don't make ability tokens anywhere else. Anyways, you find my bean bugs? Well, there's way more to go. Here, take some jelly beans. Don't worry, these ones didn't come from a bean bug. Now I'm requesting until you get that fat stack of tickets. Hey, wait, so does it, like, increase as well? Or does it just, like, max out? I can't tell. I have, over, like, about 100 right now. Every time I come here, there's one thing that impresses me the most. Watching those bomb tokens light up the fields. Bomb abilities are key to collecting massive amounts of pollen in no time. To collect multiple bomb tokens at once, they collect even more. At least that's what I've heard. Why don't you go show me what bomb tokens can do over there in the blue flower field and bring back some blueberries. I've heard if you collect some from fields with mostly blue flowers, you might find a blueberry. Yeah, that does sound good. And don't forget those bean bugs. Collect 50 bomb tokens, uh, 5 blueberry tokens, and 25 tokens from bean bugs. Alright, can we get the bean bugs over there? Yes, I think we can. Uh, most of them, looks like they despawned, which kind of sucks. Uh, where the frick did they- did they all go up there? I think most of them just, like, went over here. Eh, I'm- I'm too short to jump up. Frig, man. Eh, yoink. Nice. Let's go over here, and hopefully find the jelly bean bugs over here. There's only, like, one. What the heck? I mean, there- I guess there's, like, some-ish? Where did- where did the other ones- are they at the mountaintop field, maybe? Did they really go that far? Probably not. Um, or they just went somewhere else. I have no idea. Um, uh, but yeah, I think that is pretty good for now. Oh, wait, they're all going over there. What the heck? That one's just, like, he literally just committed yeet over here. What the heck? So are, like, all the bean bugs over here, the jelly bean bugs? I think they are. I mean, there's two in here, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna chill with these guys for a little bit. Just collect all their jelly beans. Because, I mean, it's better to just, like, do the first, or the jelly bean part right now, instead of wait till another patch to spawn. Because it's just easier that way. So, yeah, let me just, let me just collect some of these. Oh, yeah, look at all those jelly beans, dude. All oh, those glorious jelly beans. Very, oh, wait. Oh, it's a tornado. Hey, look at that. Oh, that's a cool ability right there. I was like, what the heck is that thing? And I was like, oh, wait, I forgot. I, I spent my life savings on the Windy Bee. Oh, yes, of course. Nice. Okay, that that tornado is pretty cool. So do we complete it? Nice. Now we just need bomb tokens and other stuff. All right, cool. I guess I'll see you once I complete this quest. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Let me just get the spirit bear quest real quick, just so I can have it on in the background. Look, turn around. Look another time out over the mountain. What do you see? Flowers, bees, blocks, and parts. Yes. Surely something so familiar you could see with your eyes closed. Could list the field if you tried. Could name each type of bear and probably at least most of the bees. So familiar to you now that you are so familiar to it. How long would it take if you left this place to forget it? Well, certainly in time you'd forget the details. But details, they're forgotten all the time. What's left when they are gone? Mmm. I'm asking so many questions. Mmm. All things that live come to go as sure as the sun rises and falls. Even surer than that. And when they do, they leave something behind. That is something is us. Yes, that is something is you. Yes. No, I'm not just talking about your parents. Everything that lives has lived. Our moments live and die as well. Fickler than a flower petal. Memories. I don't remember that when I had dinner yesterday. Uh, but when they do, when what we is yes to become what is yes, they leave behind even more than what we could imagine. Yawn. Speaking of forgetting, well, I could forget, or I almost forgot to give a glitter last quest. At least one glitter with every quest. That's the rules. Anyways, let's work with our memories together now, shall we? Memory match. Hey, a free memory match, dude. Nice. So, let's do... 
Hey, okay, got the oil. Um, some, what was it? Oh, frig. That? I know it's that one. And then, that one. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> nice, so we got ten, uh, roller jellies and two oils. Cool. Alright, now I just have the, that quest on in the background. Like, the white pollen and stuff, and everything, and all of that, and just all of that. Uh, but yeah, basically what I'm doing right now is I'm in the coconut field with the coconut booster right now going on. And basically, I'm planting sprouts to do the quest. Oh, look at that. It was like a, that was a white token right there. A white booster. That, that was, that's really cool. Nice. And the only bee that grants that right now is Windy Bee, I think. So, that is a, that is a pretty rare occurrence if you think about it. Nice. Okay, cool. Um, okay, there's a rare sprout right there. Do rare sprouts give more coconuts? I never really noticed, but I think they should, right? That that makes sense, but maybe they don't. Who knows? All right, let me just eat over here, convert, and I guess I'll see you once I decide what I want to do next, because I'm probably going to buy the coconut canister next, buy some treats maybe, and then turn in the Sun Bear Quest. All right, I'm going to spend about 6 billion honey on treats right here. Um, that is basically enough for both the coconut canister and the coconut clogs. I'm not really focusing on the belt right now, because that's going to take a lot of time to do the quest. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Nice. All those treats right there. Hopefully enough to do something with the Windy Bee. Like, is it a smart idea to level up my Windy Bee all the way? Like, is there any boosts that I get from uh, extra levels? Uh, a rain cloud lasts for 60 seconds. Huh. Alright, well, that's not the most useful thing, but I don't care. It's a really good bee anyways, because it's really good for collection stuff. So, we're leveling up anyways. Bazing, level 11, level 12, level le level 13, wow. Uh, and and that's that, that's it. <laughs> level 13 Windy Bee right there. I'm not getting it to level 15, because that's way too much honey um, being spent on treats. But nice, there we go. Also, I have enough coconuts now to get the coconut canister, so let's just get it already, I'm really excited for this, oh jeez, we could get the coconut clogs, but nah bruh, coconut canister, that's where it's at right there, 25 billion honey though, uh, 1 million capacity, 400% conversion rate, 10% instant conversion, 10% white instant conversion, 100% white pollen, plus 5% pollen, plus 1 B attack, passive inspired coconuts, and passive emergency coconut shield, oh jeez. R.I.P. All my coconut, tropical drinks, red extracts, and blue extracts. Three, two, one. Oh, there we go. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. We now have the coconut canister. I, I really like it. It looks amazing, dude. All right, cool. Now our backpack is now thirteen, basically fourteen million. Nice. So we have two out of the four brand new items. So I think we're doing pretty good right now. I think we should just try to grind in the field. But yeah, right over here. This is the Inspire Coconuts. And every fifth Inspire token that you get will drop down a bunch of coconuts onto the field. So, I guess that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, we're just going to be doing a ton of grinding, I guess, for now. Um, maybe I'll also try to do the um, Sun Bears quest right after this. But yeah, I want to do a little bit of grinding right here. Oh, there's the coin scatter. Nice. And I think I will actually be getting... A lot more stuff from coin scatter now which is really cool um maybe i should have waited to use the code for today because then it would have been a lot better since you know higher backpack space and just more stuff in general you know but whatever i guess uh, i'll just be an idiot and not do that or photon storm nice and yeah that is pretty much it i mean uh, it's nothing game breaking it's not like something super op Maybe the wand will be able to, like, AFK farm or something. I don't really know, but I don't really care about that right now. Um, let's, let's turn in this quest right here. Whoa, those bombs look different from last time. Way brighter, totally cool. You know what else is cool? Cold hard cash. And by cash, I mean tickets. Here's a sample of what you're in for. Tickets can be used to buy lots of things. Buying your bait bees, royal jellies, magic beans, even stingers to boost the attack power of your bees for 10 seconds. Wait, isn't it 30 seconds? Uh-huh, right. 
That's right, Stingers. There's a new dispenser right behind the 20B gate, but they're pretty expensive. Be smart with your tickets. They're hard to come by. Eight more quests to go. These bean bugs won't round up themselves. Nice, three tickets. Thanks, Sunbear. Your beekeepers know more than anything that boost abilities are what where it's at. Those multiply the amount of pollen you collect from flowers for a specific color. The many bees have red and blue boost abilities. Then I heard rumors that there's even one with the white boost ability. Anyways, you see what I'm getting now. Here's what I need. Collect 50 boost ability tokens, 100 honey tokens, 50 tokens from bean bugs. That's the only way we'll get those bean bugs back in my RV, trust me. Huh. Alright, cool. I guess I'll just, uh, I guess convert my backpack real quick. Uh, and I'll just go complete this quest real quick. I mean, it shouldn't be too difficult. Okay, we just completed the quest. There's actually another set of uh, bean bugs over there that just spawned in, so I want to turn this in really quickly. Man, imagine a beekeeper with boost ability bees. They'd be a real chump. Not like you. You're cool like me, right? You wish. Haha, <laughs> nah, you're cool. Cool enough that I'll give you some of my gumdrops. I eat them because I'm normal, but you beekeepers use them to get bonus honey from flowers. Open your items menu and drag the gumdrops to one of your slots on the bottom of the screen. That'll let you use them fast whenever you want. Seven more quests to go, and I'll have those bean bugs in my RV, and you'll have those 250 tickets in your wallet. See, at least this guy doesn't take like seven years to talk. Friggin' Spirit Bear over there spends like five minutes talking for dialogue, and it makes my video super long. It's really annoying. <laughs> Let's talk to Sun Bear again. I'm a busy bear with places to be, people to see. That's why I'm always on the road to get places fast. I use my RV. You people here, well, an RV is a little out of your league. When you need to go fast, you rely on haste ability tokens from your bees. Each one makes you move 10% fast for 20 seconds, and it stacks up 10 times. At 10 stacks, you're moving twice as fast. Easy math. Hope you have bees with haste, because we will need to make it hasty. I've got to get those bean bugs to Orlando before that time runs out. If you want to get paid, you better hurry. Collect 100 haste, haste tokens, 100 tokens from bean bugs, and 100,000 pollen from the clover field. I want some of that while I'm here. Can't get it anywhere else. Alright, cool. That shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, we do need a ton of bean bug ability tokens, though. Um, is that a windy view, or is that my... See, I can't even tell, like, if the, um, stupid ability, or, like, these clouds are my clouds, or my, or, like, a different windy bee in the wild anymore. Because, like, my windy bee summons clouds all over the place, so I won't ever be able to tell, like, oh, that's a, that's a windy bee right there, I can go fight it. Nope, instead I just gotta, just hope that it's, it's a windy bee, yes. But yeah, look at this little guy right here. It looks so cool, and it's first edition. Wow. Hey, there we go. Finally. That took like about five minutes of just kind of sitting there and collecting a bunch of haste tokens. Which wasn't that annoying compared to like Spirit Bear just just sitting there for festive beef for like three hours. That really sucked. Oh, uh, but yeah. Talk to Sun Bear. Finally, dude. Haste is cool and all, but you know what's cooler? My kicks. These boots make me move faster permanently. They're pretty expensive for a busy bear like me. They pay for themselves. You can find a pair like these in the B-Gate shop. In the 25 B-Gate, yes. <laughs> but we don't have time for shopping. Those bean bags, bugs are getting... I keep thinking they're, it's, he's saying bean bags or whatever, but he's saying bean bugs are getting into trouble. Six more quests to go before you get my paycheck. For now, take some of these field dice. You just want to grant plus 100% pollen from a random field for 15 minutes. They're Yeah, they're pretty awesome. Pretty generous of me, huh? Nice. Thank you, Sunbear. You are such a generous, kind lad. I spend days at a time on the road. It's a pretty tough job trucking exotic things around in my RV. It takes a lot of focus. You know what else takes a lot of focus? Memory match. It's a mini game I've seen around here. Pay some money, then try to match cards to win the items on them. You can find one near in the shop in the 10B zone. You know what it takes. <laughs> Critical hits. Those ones fly the pollen you collect. And how and you get focus uh, focus ability tokens of course. You know what else takes even more focus? Rounding up those bean bugs. Go out and collect two hundred focus tokens, two hundred fifty thousand pollen from the pineapple patch, two hundred fifty or two hundred tokens from bean bugs and five pairs of memory mesh. Here I'll give you a free trial. Ah uh, well thanks, but that's that's a lot of friggin' focus tokens, man. Oh my gosh. Um uh, well, well okay, it's like that one. Um, that, 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 that one, frig, dude. Okay, well, that is gonna take a while. Is the, is the one in the pepper fields or whatever, or in the 35B zone ready yet? 
that would be cool if it is, but if it's not, then I'll just do the other ones, I guess. Um, I'm actually doing pretty good on, um, Spirit Bear's Quest. The cool thing about getting Honey Tokens now, is it's actually pretty easy. I'll just show off the new abilities real quick for the Coconut Canister before I, um, finish off these quests. I might skip a few, just cause this video might get, or start to get a little bit long. I don't know, it kinda depends. Um, but yeah, if we just go over to here, and go in a field, basically if I get hit by any of these guys, I'll deploy a shield that activates this. Watch it. Look at that! Coconuts are falling from the friggin' sky, dude, and rains a bunch of, um, coconut stuff. And it also boosts your, um, oh, there we go, and we got the other one, the other passive ability, which is, um, every fifth inspired token, I get, um, I get a bunch of coconuts falling from the sky. Which is pretty good, because that gave me, like, a couple million honey from that. So, that's pretty nice right there. That That's that's a really good way to make honey, and a bunch of honey tokens for Spirit Bear's quest. So, yeah, I guess those are the two abilities right there. Um, it also boosts, like, your B attack, I think, the, the emergency coconut shields. Yeah, you gain extra defense. Uh, 1.25 B attack is for 10 seconds and drops 5 falling coconuts into the field. The only thing that sucks though is that it, uh, has a cooldown of 5 minutes. But, you know, I can live with that. It's probably gonna be really useful for, like, coconut crab or something. Or, like, stump snail. Maybe if you wanna just do extra damage at one point, you just get hit a little bit. And you start, like, doing a ton of damage. So, yeah, that, that's pretty cool. Finally completed this quest. It kinda took a while. Because the sprout tokens really sucked. But, I don't really care. Wait, was that the sprout? No, I what am I talking about? There's no sprouts for this quest. That's that's still going to take a while. But, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Pure focus, one track mind. Keep your eyes on the road at all times. That's rule number one. Rule number two, get those bean bugs to Orlando or neither of us get paid. Okay, halfway there, but we've got five more to go. To make this quicker, take some micro converters. Use one and it'll instantly convert all pollen in your bag to honey. Cool. Um, so now I got 14. Nice. Man, those bean bugs are getting everywhere. Can't keep track of them if they keep moving around. You know what helps keep track of them? Leaving marks. Mark token ability tokens, that is. Yeah, I can't forget to those ones. Yeah, wait, what? <laughs> but am I just reading it stupid or is there. Uh, whatever. Mark abilities create sign looking things around the field. You stand near them, you get various buffs. Marks can chain together to give you super buffs. How will that help us get these bean bags or bugs into RV? Yes, I don't know. Yes, 250 tokens, 200 marks, 30 ladybugs, 500,000 red pollen. Uh, uh, that that should be pretty easy. I don't know why he's asking for ladybugs. You know, maybe I should have read the friggin' dialogue. Oh, look at that emergency coconut stuff. E8, and look at that. Look at all those honey tokens right there. Nice. And we made a fat 71,000. So I think the better field you're in, the more tokens you get from each, like, um, honey stuff. Because I could get, like, into the millions. Basically, my whole entire backpack worth of honey just in coconut form or honey token form, which is really cool. But I guess if you go into the lower fields, you can't get as much since that would be pretty broken. Just constantly farming, like, millions of honey in, like, the smallest fields. Oh man, that would be, that would be real broken. Uh, but yeah, we just, we just got a lot of mark tokens to get, so I'll see you once that's done. Alright, first of all, I completed Spirit Bear's quest. Uh, it wasn't too difficult, it was just mainly annoying about the tokens from leaves. Yawn, you can't stay in that tunnel forever. Oh, there you are, dear. You know, sleeping this much, it can't be a good sign. I tried not to worry, really, my sister goodness. Now she was a real hip hippocrinadite. What? Don't want to end up like her, no, but this can't be normal. I've always, I'm always tired. Ooh, ha, ooh, ah, ha. Just thinking about sleeping makes me sleepy. For years, my sister swear she was slowly developing a honey allergy. My sister, honey allergy, can you imagine? In a bear, she could always claim she, w she would blow it up or get hives. I never saw anything wrong with her, near the dead mother. But it got so bad, she swore off honey for years at one point. Until one day, at work, he came home, and we found where we were out of blueberries. She gobbled up a whole pot of honey, got sick, and blamed it on the allergy. I had enough at that point of her honey bashing, and enough to trying to convince her what was wrong. I said, I guess you were right. No more honey for you. Mom, no more honey for her. Everyone, don't let her eat any honey. Protect my sister for herself. And what do you know, the very next day, she was back to eating honey. 
played dumb when we brought up the allergies, claimed the honey had changed. Different pollen, oh no dear, you know it was the same. That's how she was, couldn't be told what to do, even if it was her idea. Loved her, her to death, but she could be something. Anyways, why am I on about this? Uh, you've got another spirit pedal earned, yes. Nine requests, they're picking up now. Yawn. Oh, but I really shouldn't. Yawn. She's falling asleep. Nice. Two, um, glitter and a lot of other stuff. Each plant starts its tiny seed packed out with full potential. The tiny pebble, can you believe it, already knows what it wants to be. It has a desire in a way, a good guess to what it will be according to a plan. But desire planning can only go so far, or far, and unfortunately for the seeds, it doesn't go far enough. That's where gardeners like myself come in, and gardeners like you, dear, oh yes, you plant the seeds in your day. That makes you another gardener of the mountain. Welcome to the team. We offer nature a helping hand. That both guides and is guided. We pull and pry, dig and water. The bees, they pollinate. They're gardeners too. Yes, you little ones. But we're not the boss seeds. We can't make them do what they want to do. And they're not the boss of us, obviously. No, there's no boss in the garden. We can work as a team. Team is slightly sh stronger. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, no, there's always a twist. We desire stuff. Yes. Any destination. Yes. Can possibly live up. Ahead will be. Yes. Um, yes, the beauty of nature, uh-huh, we strive to grow because we can't accomplish, hey, oh, I hear a gun, she pulls a magic bean on her petal stuff, little seed magic bean, what do you want to be when you grow up, mm, I see ambitious, I hear you, but you, now hear me, what about you become one of these, she whispers into something, no, well, I guess we'll just have to see, she closes her eyes and rocks the magic bean back and forth, no boss in nature, that's right, and no rules, wanting, thriving, growing as a team, full potential without a clue, where are going to be, isn't that right, bees, strong bees, go on and take them with you. Jeez, that was long. Alright, let's complete, uh, su Sun Bears one. I, I did that one as well. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to complete all of them in today's episode. It's already getting quite long, and I'm only, like, halfway through. So, maybe I'll keep the very final quest for next episode, probably. Man, those honey mark abilities don't have tri darn deadly bugs. They fade away too fast. What were you we even thinking with that plan? But we better come with something soon. I've got a deadline to meet and people are depending on those bean bugs. You'll need to figure something out soon because there's just four more quests. For that, you'll get your paycheck. 250 tickets. Oh, I guess there's... Eh, we might be able to do it. Where could those bean bugs be hiding? They're pretty big. This doesn't make sense. Wait a sec. You see that over there? Those leaves popping out of flowers? Maybe that's them. Yeah, this is going to be them. If you see leaves popping out of flowers, try collecting from it. You might find what you're looking for. Worst case scenario, you just get some items. And if that's not them, well, then maybe they're in the cactus field. I don't know. Just listening places. Haven't checked yet. Go out there and collect 300 tokens from bean bugs, 25 from leaves, 1 million pollen from the cactus field. All right. Yes. I will see you once I do that. All right. Just finished this quest. So let's just turn it in. Really? They weren't in there? Are you sure you look close enough? Whatever, let's just move on. We're running out of time. We've got most of the bean bugs, but it's all no nothing. But they're supposed to be in Orlando in just a few days. Best case scenario, if I drive nonstop, it'll take me 48 hours to get here or there from here. Well, we've got three quests to go. There's still hope. Nice. Five jelly beans. I'm getting a lot of freaking jelly beans. Hey, I just thought of something. Maybe we can lure those bean bugs out with a sprout. Nobody can resist a sprout. When people hear those things popping, they all come running. Especially right when it pops. Like, doing a legendary sprout by yourself, nobody helps. At the very end, when the thing pops, everybody just floods over collecting all the stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I know you're one of those people. Uh, don't don't do that. That's that's kind of rude. But whatever, you can do whatever you want. I, that's why I go on my private server, so nobody can steal my sprouts. Get wrecked, newbies! Haha. <laughs> Lucky for you, I've got a bunch of magic beans in my RV. I'll let you have one if you test this out. Click 500 tokens from bean bugs, 1,000 ability tokens, and 250 tokens from sprouts. Easy. I'll see you once I do that. Yes. Okay, I just completed Spirit Bears and Sun Bears quest. Yawn. I didn't order any night bells. You won't get a drop of honey for me. Oh, there you are, dear. Dot, dot, dot. Do you ever feel something like someone's watching us? I'm not talking about the great honey bear in the sky. What? Is that a future thing? A big honey bear or something in the sky? No, sometimes it's like you're standing on a stage, even though you're not, just doing dishes. It could be anything, though. I feel that way often, and I shrug it off. But maybe, maybe someone is watching us. She gets over at the wind shrine. Well, someone watch is watching us, but I'm not talking about you. Hmm. 
is it them out there not playing but watching i see you people out there watching others play doing all the beekeeping for you that's right you can't hide from spirit bear i have eyes everywhere every tree and cloud you can't prove that i don't so just know that while you're watching me on your tablet or whatever you have hey i'm playing this on an ipad i'm watching you with my quest menu you can't prove that i'm not she leans in and whispers to you i don't have eyes anywhere but they don't know that Anyways, what was it you needed, dear? You finished that quest already? Which quest? This quest, Beans Becoming? Are you sure? That one takes some time now. That one was actually pretty easy. The one that took the longest was just the Inspire token. But even that's not too bad. But okay, whatever. Oh, you did it. Okay, well then, eight more quests and you'll earn the next rare petal. She looks into the sky. Now it'll be over. She are just taking a nap, not doing anything suspicious. No reason to watch me anymore. Definitely not doing some online video sharing and streaming service. No, nothing to see here. Don't forget to like, subscribe if they're though. Yeah, make sure to like the video, subscribe, and turn on notifications for good luck if you're an epic gamer. All right, <laughs> nice. So we got two glitter now. So the, I I feel like that's really cool how the glitter's ramping up. Each quest I get two now. Probably for the last um ten quests will be three. Also, I'm nearing over a hundred or two hundred glitter, which is really cool. I'm just gonna have so much glitter, I don't know what to do with it. I mean, I do still plan on crafting the demon and diamond mask. I don't know when I'm gonna do that, though. I'll probably focus on more important things, because I feel like the gummy is the best mask. And then the demon, because it's good for, like, coconut crab and stump field, or, um, stump snail, and, like, the stick bug. But, you know, whatever. Magic, a loaded word. Almost taboo. Magic in this day and age. Only a fool would believe in magic, that's what they all say. They call me a fool because I believe. I know. <laughs> she digs through her petal belt and pulls out some glitter. Glitter. How does that work? Do you know? She tosses the glitter into the air. Nobody knows. Nobody. But I know. Hehe. <laughs> I know and I can tell you if you want. I don't have to tell you, but I can if you like. She leans over and whispers into you quietly. Magic. Ha, huh, you saw that coming. Open your eyes, fool. It's everywhere. Magic is what magic does. This world, it's magic. Yes, this world. Look around. All these things. That special sprout summoner over there. How does it work? Yes, very true. These are scripts involved. Eck. They're machines. They've got mechanics. But that's not how they work. You've got it backwards. That's why they work. But how? Magic. But Spirit Bear, you're confused. That's what they always said. And that's what I always say back. Just like that. Nothing you can see can be seen through being comprehended. Can't you see? Yes. That's not how things become things. No, no. To comprehend is to forget. You can't investigate magic goodness. No, they'll slip right through your fingers. Don't grasp it. Behold it. Bees hold it. Uh, don't you bees? She smiles like bees. You guys are just covered in glitter. What a mess. Not my mess. Have fun with that beekeeper. Haha. <laughs> now go out there and try your best. To do what, really, dear? Have you been listening to me at all? Eh, what's the matter? Just get out there and behold magic. Basket and behold in the mythical. The mystic moonlight of this magical mountain. Bruh. <laughs> Alright, let's go turn in Sun Bear's quest as well. Um, it's starting to ramp up a little bit with the jelly beans. It only takes about, like, two, like, first spawns, but whatever. Yes, bean bugs don't care about sprouts. Probably don't even eat regular treats. I should have known, should have known. Anyways, you're doing still a pretty good job. Most of the beans bugs are back in my RV. Yeah, that's right. You don't see it, but every time you collect 100 of those jelly beans, one of the bean bugs gets put back in there. Trust me. Two more quests to go. Cool. Alright, I think the final one is, like, really difficult, like, collecting tokens from, like, monsters that respawn every hour or something, which... I don't like that, but okay. I figured it out where the rest of those bean bugs are. The monsters are probably hiding them. Makes sense. They want to keep them forever, so they have jelly beans. I don't blame them, but it ain't meant to be. Those bean bugs, they've got jobs, they've got places to be, or land or not. Actually, no, I think this is the quest with all the friggin' tokens from bugs, which I don't like that. Or land, don't not here. This place is meant for bees, but we can't reason with those monsters out there. They only speak the one language if you catch my drift. Get out there and collect a bunch of tokens from monsters. We don't have time for me to list it all, so just put in your task menu. Uh, yeah. Oh, jeez. Tokens from bean bugs, werewolves, spiders, mantises, and scorpions. Oh, man. Alright, I'll see you once I do that quest. Alright, we completed the quest, finally. It took a while, but we did it. So the monsters aren't, weren't hiding the bean bugs after all. Should have known. They ain't clear. Well, it doesn't matter now. We've almost got them all rounded up. I can hear the road calling my name already. 
but it's all or nothing. Each one of those bean bugs need to make it to Orlando. Complete this last quest and they will, and you'll be biting a moolah. <laughs> Great, look at those stingers, jelly beans, and all that other stuff. Nice! I'm really liking those five uh, instant converters. It's always good to have instant converters when you're doing super huge field boosts, like the one that I did in the previous episode, getting like 12 billion honey in the span of like 30 minutes. That was pretty cool, and micro converters really helped me out there, so yeah, micro converters are a really good item in this game. Um, but yeah, let's let's see the final. I already know what the final quest is gonna be. It's like 2,000 like bean bug tokens, and that's a lot. It just jumps from 500 to 2,000. But it's just that, nothing else, just 2,000 bean bug tokens, and we get paid that mad moolah buster. Look, I like hanging out here, I really do, but I can't stick around much longer. Those people in Orlando need me, they need bills, bean bugs. I'd love to watch your bees use their crazy abilities all day, but we just don't have time now. Bruh, you've been here for like a day, chill, bruh. All we have time left for is rounding up the rest of those bean bugs, so complete this quest and we'll both be getting paid big time. All you have to do is collect 2,000 tokens from bean bugs. That's right, and by doing that, the last of the bean bugs will get put into my RV. That's how it works, so get out there. Alright, great. 2,000 friggin' bean bug tokens. I'll see you once we do that, and I'll end the episode there. Alright, we finished the final quest. 2,000 bean bug tokens. Friggin' get in there. Uh, finally. <laughs> that took a while, but for some reason there was a glitch happening where the bean bugs just wouldn't, like, teleport or, like, despawn. So they were just spamming the bean tokens over and over again without going away. So that was a big help. Uh, but yeah, anyways. No, that's what I'm talking about. You got them all. Each and every one of those bad boys. You know I could count on you. You beekeepers are always reliable. Well, wish I could stick around and enjoy myself a bit. But these bean bugs have a place they need to be. Orlando. FLA. What the frick does that mean? So I'll just tie everything down in my RV and head out. Of course, I'm a bear of my word, so these are for you. 250 tickets. Oh yeah, baby. Don't spend them all in one place. Okay, I'm heading out. Thanks for your help. I'll try to stop and die again when I'm working. Until then, take it easy. Nice. 5 million honey and 250 friggin' tickets. Cool. And I guess if you talk to him again, he'll just say like, My RV doesn't look too flashy, but it's top of the line. I've had it for years, but I'm always fixing it up. Had a little trouble on my way in here, though. Once I figure out how to get unstuck, I'll hit the road. Don't worry, I don't need any help. Alright, I guess she doesn't really have anything important to say. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much it for today's episode. Once again, these quests are for newer players, which I find that really hard to believe, because even for me, like, a really, like, I guess a high-level player, these quests were pretty difficult. Like, I guess the token collecting kind of sucked. Nobody likes token collecting. If you like token collecting quests... You're a liar. Uh, but yeah, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Like the video, subscribe, notifications, yes! Thanks for watching, and bye bye